If I Built a Car by Chris Van Dusen. Jack from the back seat said to his dad, This car is okay. This car is not bad. But it's just a car. Nothing great. Nothing grand. It's nothing at all like the car I have planned. I'll work through the night to create a design. Constantly analyze, tweak, and refine. I'll study jet rockets and look at old planes, contemplate buses and zeppelins and trains. To make it as smooth and as sleek as an eel, I'll borrow ideas from the Wienermobile. So sit back, relax, stay right where you are. It's time to reveal my spectacular car. You'll see that I've added a lot of neat things. Flush fender skirts and retractable wings. Three headlights up front, four taillights in back plus two giant fins like our old Cadillac. My brand new design will be curvy and round, with special jet engines that don't make a sound. I'll paint it bright colors with accents of chrome and top it all off with a plexiglass dome. I'll build a safe car just as safe as I can, cause safety is job number one in my plan. It may look like steel from afar you can't tell, but it's actually made of a polymer gel, a space age concoction that I just invented. So in a collision, my car won't get dented. It simply absorbs what we happen to hit and folks would be fine in the seats where they sit. Come with me now and I'll show you inside. I put in a couch, it's comfy and wide. Plus a fireplace fish tank and here's something cool. The floor can slide open and look, there's a pool. Now step right this way to the back of the car and note the red button marked Instant Stack Bar. Say you are hungry and wanted a treat, just press it and instantly good things to eat. Appear in a flash. Anything that you please, from hazelnut pudding to aerosol cheese. After you've eaten, you might like a nap and Robert the robot makes napping a snap. I built him right into the back of the chair. He's out of the way, you won't know that he's there. But when you get sleepy and rise from your seat, the chair spins around without missing a beat. Robert the robot will take the controls and he's guaranteed not to hit the telephone pole. He's guaranteed not to hit telephone poles. I see you're impressed with all that's inside, so start up the motor, let's go for a ride. A car that smells good, now that's something new. But if I built a car, that's just what i do. Inside the engine, I'll add a machine to capture the odor of burnt gasoline and change it to something more pleasing to noses, like blueberry muffins or freshly picked roses. Now that we're cruising, let's head to the lake. There's no need to panic or slam on the brake. My car can do something like something that very few can. The fenders will float like a catamaran. We're skimming the waves and we're having a ball. But wait, hold your horses, because that isn't all. Boating is fine till we get the urge to dive underwater. Then, just hit submerge. Robert will drive as we burble about. We can see catfish and we can see trout. We might even spy the shy stickleback gar from inside our fabulous waterproof car. Last but not least, the best feature of all comes down to a button that's shiny and small. Push it and then, in the wink of an eye, the car will take off, will be up in the sky. We'll fly over land, we'll fly overseas, to Alaska, Nebraska, Bermuda, Belize, or take a vacation when things start to freeze and fly us all down to the Florida Keys. My car will be cool, my car will be clean. My car will be one big fantastic machine. The toast of the town, the cream of the crop, the bell of the ball, and the tip of the top. My car will be famous from here to Peru. If I built a car, that's just what I'd do. Now we're gonna build an inexpensive car that you can make out of some materials you most likely have in your house. But check with your parents, and if they say yes, ask them where they want you to do it. So today we are going to be building a car. To do that, we need a water bottle, we need some bottle caps, we need two skewers or some other type of um, device to use as your axle. We need a straw, we need a balloon, and we need some sort of cutting utensil. Such as a scissor. Our first step is to cut holes into our water bottle. So to do that, I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to stick it in. 
And this, so like for instance, I already cut some holes. So I'm going to put that in there, which is the holes I already cut. Um, I actually use the scissors for that. It's just kind of dangerous to also be holding my camera while doing this. All right. So I'm going to insert once. So I cut holes like that. And then I also cut another hole right over here. So now that we have our axles, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bottle caps. This is the bottle cap. And I'm just going to use this stick to puncture it. See, so I just punctured that. Now I'm going to use that. For instance, over here. See, it just it fits on very nicely. And now I'm going to repeat that four more times. And now we have the first part of our car. Next, we are going to take the straw and we're going to make a hole for it inside of the water bottle. So basically, the straw is going to go through this up top, and that's where we're going to attach our balloon. Okay, so I just cut a hole right here with my scissors. So I cut a hole for the straw, now I'm trying to get the straw in. Um, once I get the straw in, see like this, I think this will work. Maybe, maybe not. I may need to. But once I get the straw in, I can put the balloon on it. See, like this. Now, I can put the balloon. Um, my balloon's a little big, so I'm going to need to grab some tape. So I've actually made a few modifications. So I taped the balloon up. I actually took the axles out of the hole I cut and put them on the bottom, just because the holes I cut were a little too high. Um, so I just want to go right now and explain the science a little bit. So basically what happens is I will blow into the tube, which will push a lot of air into the balloon. The balloon will expand. And then when I take my mouth off, the balloon, all the air in the balloon will rush out as the balloon contracts and shoot out. Which way do you think the car will go? Because the air goes out towards the back, the car will move forward. This is the principle of Newton's third law, that every reaction has to have an equal and opposite reaction. The balloon releases air this way, which will cause the um, car to move that way. Now let's do a little demonstration. So I'm gonna blow on the straw. We're gonna do another attempt. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna blow, the balloon's gonna inflate, and then it's gonna move. Um, so it's moving a little bit towards the side, which could be a result of numerous things. One reason I think it could be is because the holes weren't cut exactly in the center of the bottle caps. Okay, we're gonna do one more attempt. Okay, I think that was pretty successful. It turned a little bit, but it did move. I'm Josh Kaplan. If you have any questions, you can email me at readaloud at frisch.org.